Welcome to ENME 489Y Remote Sensing. I'm Dr. Mitchell. What is remote sensing? Remote sensing is gathering or collecting information or data about your environment without having a sensor in physical contact with the environment or the object in question. So if you've taken a picture with your cell phone lately, you've remotely sensed information about your environment. Remote sensing technologies are applied in a wide variety of environments. Uh, in particular, the automotive industry is really quite a buzz right now with remote sensing for the autonomous vehicles. Now, let's talk about the class a bit. In the class, we're going to be discussing active and passive sensor technologies. Active sensors are actively transmitting electromagnetic radiation and actively receiving that electromagnetic radiation scattered off the target. Passive sensors, on the other hand, are passively receiving naturally occurring electromagnetic radiation. We'll be discussing both the hardware and the software side of these sensors and really diving into the physics about how these sensors function. In terms of the class structure, there is lecture in the class. We meet and we discuss the underlying physics and the elementary uh, principles that drive these technologies, primarily in the uh, regions of LIDAR, radar, and computer vision. We do host a variety of guest lectures throughout the semester, both from academic, uh, government, and business uh, agencies and entities. There is homework in this class. Homework is due roughly every week, every two weeks, and a typical homework assignment looks like this. Throughout the semester, we'll be using the Raspberry Pi Plus Camera platform um, in conjunction with Python and OpenCV, Open Computer Vision. And a typical homework assignment will be generating Python code to uh, interact with the hardware and perform a remote sensing task. So for example, one of the earlier homeworks in the class will be writing Python code to get your Pi up and running and take a selfie. So here's a mosaic of Testudo. Uh, this is selfies taken by former students, all stitched together uh, into the shape of Testudo. Homeworks later in the semester will dive deeper into the computer vision side of the class, and we'll learn how to create masks for images. Masking will allow us to identify something like a color or a particular uh, geometry or object in our image, and then use that mask applied to the video frame to automatically identify and track objects. So here's an example where we're automatically identifying and tracking a green tennis ball. There is a project in the class. It's a semester-long project, and the homeworks are really the building blocks for the project. In the project, you'll be designing, integrating, and deploying your very own LiDAR sensor. And within the project, we'll transition from tracking things like tennis balls to tracking things like laser beams. So here's an image from one of the sensors a student uh, built in a prior semester. And the location of the image laser spot on the camera frame here tells us something about the distance between the sensor and the object uh, that we're trying to uh, range to. With your instrument integrated and ready to go, you'll identify a location on campus that you're interested in mapping, such as Testudo or uh, Kermit and Jim Henson in front of the Union. And you'll deploy your sensor to go out, collect range information about the target, and then process all of that range information to create a three-dimensional point cloud, a three-dimensional model of your target. So why should you take the class? Well, in this class, you get to design and build real engineering hardware, real tangible hardware. It's a very unique class, in my opinion. This class operates at the intersection of hardware and software. It's not just a CAD class, just a machine design class, just a uh, processing class or computer vision and so on and so forth. It takes the elements of all of these classes and combines them into one. So it's very unique in that regard. And it's a multidisciplinary technology. You're going to be applying all of the material you've learned in freshman year, sophomore year, junior year. And you're going to also learn more about uh, the electrical side of things, programming. And you get to put your systems engineering hat on for a semester, which is a really great opportunity. Now, maybe some reasons you want to consider not taking the class. If you only want to do hardware or you only want to do software, this is probably not the class for you. If you only want to do hardware, I recommend a CAD class or a machine design class. If you only want to do software, I'd recommend a Python class, a MATLAB class, or a computer vision type class. This class is going to force you and give you the opportunity to, to explore both worlds. If you don't like coming to class, this is probably not the class for you. 
The lecture material is going to dive deep into the physics and the underlying principles of these technologies, and then you're going to apply those physics to your project, to the homework and the project. So you need to be in class, you need to be actively engaged in learning. And lastly, if you don't like having fun, this class is probably not for you. A ground rule for myself and my students in this class, we're going to have a good time, we're going to have a positive experience, and we're going to enjoy the semester together. So my door is always open. You have my email address. Feel free to contact me anytime with questions or ideas. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in class.